What is up everybody? Hello fellow gamers and hello fans of EverQuest. Brought to you by P99. It is I, Hydros Inc. and I'm playing Corvellus, my level 19 druid. And I'm here with two great friends, guys. First, we have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. We have Mi Hermano. Chupa. <laughs> you have been practicing. <laughs> And uh, we guys, we just had a really close call with a, a couple of crag spiders, but it looks like we got the job done. Man. Got me down to zero percent, guys, if you can believe that. Yeah, and I was dude. still standing on my feet. Yeah, <laughs> and I was lucky to get a couple of really crappy light hills. I hate my hills, guys, as you guys probably all well know. Uh, Druid hills just, they're no good, man. They suck. They really suck. But they're better than nothing. They're absolutely yeah, better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. If that's all you it got. It saved your life. Yeah, it did. It saved your life. I was happy, Ben. I was very happy about that. <laughs> but it's because of my pool in the first place. I pulled one of these uh, crack spiders, and I got a second one. We didn't plan on the second one, and it yeah, drew a yeah, wrench in the, in, the, in the works there. So Yeah, they're social. They're social guys. Even the uh, the carrion spiders that roam around are also social with the crack spiders. So if you're down here hunting, remember that. Try your best to remember that they will aggro if you get them close enough to each other. They will uh, they will help one another, and they just keep, they'll just keep grouping up like the um, like the bugs in, in Neculos Forest. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but they will literally keep stacking up on each other. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been killed many times as a dark elf, a little dark elf uh, by those guys because you have five or six of them on you. You know, when you just pulled one. Although I have to say the bugs and necks seem to have a bigger aggro radius to do that. The social rather than these guys. These guys, they literally have to like walk right on top of one another for that I to think, happen. I, I think you're right, Isaiah. I think they do have a much bigger bigger range in uh, the neck for us. These guys, it's like uh, AC, basically you have to run them, almost run them through one another uh, for them to aggro. But if they aggro, guys, these crack spiders are, for our level, you know, um, we didn't have Savak here with us. He's a necro, he's a, you know, we could have easily handled two if, if he'd have been here, but for our level, these crack spiders are tough, man, and they're resisting uh, about half of our spells, wouldn't you say, AC? Yeah, I mean, probably a little bit more for me because they're even to me at the moment, and Shadow Knight spells pretty much suck when it comes to attacking creatures in the first place. So, uh, yeah, about about 75% of the time I cast a spell, they resist, and if it happens to land on them, it only lasts for maybe 20% uh, of the time that it normally will last. So that's a thing, apparently, guys. So you just got to be cautious on that. So guys, you you guys don't know how how good it is to be sitting here playing EverQuest on P99 and hanging out with two two of my good friends, man. I only get to do this it seems like now once a week, and uh, but the fact that I get to do it at all is awesome. And I wanted to talk to you guys, and I wanted to talk to Chupa and AC Gamer about two vid two movies that I saw this weekend, um, and share my thoughts and even give you guys a review. So you're getting three for the price of one in this video, guys. Just pay. <laughs> Pay, pay separate shipping and processing. Right. All right. <laughs> but anyway, the first movie I want to talk about, I don't need to snare him, okay. First movie I want to talk about is I saw Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. And I'm not going to give any spoilers, guys, so don't worry about that. I'm not going to uh, actually talk about the movie. I'm just going to talk about my opinion of the movie. And hopefully these <coughs> two guys are with me. My two friends have seen the movie and they can talk about their opinions of it, too. Have you guys seen the movie? I have not, but uh, my older brother spoiled the movie for me, and I'm pretty glad oh. that he did because once I found out how it ended, I was like, I have no want to see that movie. So, well, now which which ending are you talking about? Because unfortunately, the movie had that was really the only the only thing that I had a problem with as far as the movie was concerned was that it seemed like it had three or four uh, endings, and uh, that's probably a spoiler, guys. If it is, we apologize. I don't can think you can you toss that guy an invite? Because he apparently he was here first. That uh, I don't care if he was here first. These are static mobs, dude. No, no, I'm I just mean, saying, like, if he was already here, I mean, get another guy in there. Just about a group? Oh, he, he just ran off. Oh, yeah, he, you know, he's running around. He's just looking for stuff to kill. He's a gnome. Yeah, he's a gnome, <laughs> dude. You know how we feel about gnomes, dude? Come on, dude. Now I'll be glad to hit him, at, uh, hit him up with the invite next time. I just need to meditate, dude. Oh, look at these guys I over think, here. Yeah, I think he might be in a group already with these, these other two guys. They, it seems like they took off, though. They, they weren't here for a little while. I mean, they were here for a little while when I first got here, but then yeah, they he disappeared. Said, so. He said he went AFK. Oh, okay. All right. So, did you like the movie, or did you not? I love the movie, man. I, I thought it was... I went in there uh, expecting the movie to be terrible because of all the critics 
panning it and the critics talking about how bad it was and uh they made uh they made um apparently they made ben affleck sad or something like that and now there's this meme on the internet sad affleck so i expected the movie to be a lot worse and i was very very pleasantly surprised i think that if uh dc comics starts bringing out movies like that i think marvel will have some competition what do you think chupa i enjoyed it i mean i went in you know same thing you know people were, were giving it a bad rap but i went in just expecting what i thought was going to happen with it anyways so who else it's, is it's um i don't um okay you don't need a spirit of the wolf are you sure no, I'm, I'm good sir thank you okay all right i got but full it's, mana, guys. it's their first big movie to try to you got to think about the, the next step for them is trying to leap towards justice league in right. a very short span I thought they did very well with what the, I thought they accomplished that because they had the, you know, they had the parts of the movie that I'm not going to spoil that, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Chupa. Right, right. I mean, I, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, and I, I like the way they did it, too. I like the way they did it. I thought they, yep. yeah, it, I mean. It makes sense, and I, it'll make sense come the, the next movies. One thing I will tell you guys, and I'm not sure if I should or not, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but they're not doing things at the end of the credits like Marvel is, and I think that's a great move, man, because that's Marvel's thing, and if you steal that, if you try and take that for yourself, then I know I would have been like, why they Well, do that? That, that's, to be honest, that's not Marvel's thing. Like, Marvel does it, but that's been in movies for a long, long time. Like, people have always done that kind of stuff. Like Harry Potter Marvel's has done thing, stuff AC. like that. No, it it's is Marvel's not. Thing. It's Marvel. I would not give Marvel that to Marvel. Marvel belongs to Marvel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you're you're right, AC, of course, but uh, I don't know. It just it, it would it would feel like they were ripping the Marvel thing off to me if they had done it. And, uh, the way that the way that they did it in the movie, I thought that they, you know, they did something unique. They did something unique for DC Comics, and I think they did the right thing. I think that they did a good job. So I give the movie. I'd have to say I give the movie a nine out of ten. Uh, what about you, Chupa? Since you've seen it, man, what would you give it? Probably a seven and a half or an eight. Seven and a half or an eight? My little brother yeah. said he would give it a nine point eight, but uh, you know he's not here to actually say that himself. But he really liked the movie too, man. The action in the movie was was really impressive. The action's so, great. Yeah, the action was, and that's what put it over the top for me and little brother because we like, you know, Avengers one was also a really good movie for us that we really enjoyed. But now, I mean, it, uh, Chupa, unless you have anything to, else to say about uh, the movie, do, do you? Nah, man, it was, it, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I liked it too, man. And I want to talk about another movie that I, hopefully AC has seen, uh, and that's Ant-Man. And I saw that on the movie channel this weekend on uh, on satellite, and I just wanted to know, have you seen it, AC? I have, and uh, I actually just watched it on the weekend as well. I mean, I've seen it before that, but I watched it again anyways because I like the guy who plays the, the Ant-Man as an actor. I didn't really like the movie all that well. I thought it was kind of slow and... Uh, uninteresting, unfortunately, but <laughs> it, that's fine, man. That's your opinion, dude. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has an opinion, and they're all just as valid as everyone else's. Now, Chupa, have you seen that, man? Oh yeah. What would you think about it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, let me let me tell you guys. Ant Man is one of my least favorite characters in Marvel. I, I've never liked him. I thought that his power over ants was ridiculous. I thought it was, uh, you know, I, I didn't think it was even worth printing in comics, but. And it's funny to me, I really enjoyed the movie, and the thing that stood out the most was the ants to me. And that just blows me away because, you know, I always turn my nose up at his comics because he, oh, yeah, he's, a, he's master of ants. whoopity do. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but it turns out that was the most fascinating aspect of the movie for me, guys. So uh, I really enjoyed Ant-Man, man, and it, I was taken by surprise by the fact that how, of how much I enjoyed it. So. If, if that was the most fascinating thing about that movie, not to spoil it for anybody, but they don't really touch on that too much in that movie, to be honest. So Right. I would have liked to have seen more about the ants. I would have liked to have seen more variety of ants and stuff like that. But what they did show me was fascinating to me. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a big Discovery Channel kind of guy. I'm a Nature Channel. I love those kind of things. And, uh, you know, I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that, that they were going to talk about uh, a little bit about the ants. And what, uh, guys, if we're spoiling the movie, if you haven't seen the movie by now, we, I apologize. I'm just, I'm trying to talk about just aspects of the movie and not give away plot. Yeah, I don't point. think you're, I don't think you're giving anything oh, yeah. away, other than yeah, the fact I'll, that they don't talk about ants that much. I mean, if, if, yeah. if in the comic book, if you guys read that, I, I don't know if that's a big part of Ant Man because I never read the comics, but it's, it's more like a side feature. Oh, and he can also do this, and that's pretty much yeah. all you really ever get. But yeah, I, I agree with you. I love like the Discovery Channel stuff and. It would have been cool to learn 
not just like the names of the ants but like what kind of characteristics they have there's even some ants that i've seen in like the rainforest that will build bridges and stuff to get across rivers yeah, and stuff. Like army ants. yeah army ants like that yeah i love that dude. I so think yeah i think you're right that would have been like an amazing aspect to his character whether in the comics or in the movie to try to have like them do things that they naturally do anyways and him take advantage of that yeah, I mean, uh, you know, so, but the movie definitely took me by surprise. And I think, guys, that I'm going to give uh, my review of the Ant-Man as an official 8 out of 10. Uh, what, what would you guys give it? I, I'd agree. Mm, I'd give it a 3. A, a 3 <laughs> out of 10? Okay, hey, that's fair, man. That's fair. Uh, AC obviously didn't enjoy the movie uh, as much as me and Chupa did. And that's oh, fine. God. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> if I had been able to watch it for free on TV, I think I, I think I would have given it a higher a higher score. But since I it? since I had to pay, oh, it's a guard. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. All right, I am pulling another one of these further back, okay. further back. Uh, further back. Okay. Yeah, because I can't I can't get next to that guard. Okay, I'm gonna flame lick him. I'm probably gonna get him off of you right now. There you yeah. go. So take care of that guy. Yeah, I, I definitely want to kill that guy really, really uh, bad. Sir Morgan? Yep. This Sir Morgan okay. is just protecting the, the land, dude. And you Sir guys Morgan's going to die. <laughs> is he after me? He's after me! You know, <laughs> you, you say he's protecting the land, but we're over here killing the creatures that are threatening the land, and he doesn't seem to like me any more than, than he did when I first came here, so. No, these crag fighters should definitely give uh, give faction hits the positive faction hits, but the no reavers do give uh, positive faction hits for the Karanas. And yeah, we're not killing them. Can you imagine we're how many of those I would have to kill to get good faction with that guy? Don't you think that the spider? Look at these crag spiders. They're the, probably the most vicious, uh, vicious mob in this zone besides Tarble. And Tarble isn't different to me, so he's not really that vicious. But these guys, could you imagine living, actually living? in a farming community where there were spiders of this size and this strong and this vicious. They don't attack, though. They're not... Oh, they're yeah, not, they're, uh, they're not aggro. That's right. But yeah. they would be. Come on, in real life? Yeah. Those things, don't think those things would feed on humans? I, I imagine... Oh, no, no, <laughs> he, might be, he might be a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> that's a can relate. Yeah, uh, a, a vegan spider. I wonder how that would work. Does he wrap a carrot up in a little thing? Or, I mean... What, <laughs> yeah. or I give, me the, give me some... You any juice? <laughs> right. <laughs> you got, you got carrot juice? <laughs> I'll leave you alone if you got some carrot juice. <laughs> right. I'm not sure how that would work for him. But I guess jumping up on a chair and, and screaming there's a spider on the floor probably would not work with that. So <laughs> I can only imagine what would happen if a really big chair. <laughs> right. I slid over. I slid over to our our spot from last week or week before. Okay, I'm I'm there with you. All right, I'm pulling it back that way. Yeah, I miss my Shadow Knight, man. I love going out and pooling. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Good for you, man. Yeah, I don't know about you guys. What do you do? You miss your uh, druid, or do you kind of like playing your your warrior? I love a my more? druid. I love my druid. That's why he's the first character that I wanted to play today. I also wanted to play my little shaman, my troll shaman, and I, I want to play the Arnold brothers. But I want to get Thum videos. I think I'm just gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play Corbello's uh, video with you guys, and then hopefully we'll get on uh, Thum. And uh, company and make a few videos with those guys. So it's what I'm hoping that we'll do. But of course, if you guys want to do something else, I'm always open to. Really, all I want to do is hang out with my friends. So I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah, I we'll agree. Be man. Having several several AFKs again today. Oh, that's fine, brother. We we understand. You got the family thing. I'm pulling. Just glad you're hanging out, man. <laughs> all right, he's coming in hot. No coming doom. in hot. Yep, no doom and darkness on him. You got another one? Yep. All right. Do I need to snare him? You can if you want. Uh, uh, where'd he go? See uh, I think uh, the... Druid made a chicken it? Yeah, uh, Druid. Oh, that's, right. that's messed up, man. He resisted my Dooming Darkness and the guy stole it? Uh, that that's all right. Fun. We already got one. <clears throat> I mean, I guess that's all right. I mean, he probably didn't mean to steal it. Uh, I, I think he saw me cast on it. I gotta sit and get some mana and hit points back. Actually, let me get some leech going. I'm gonna leech their guy. So you saw those two movies. Have you seen anything else recently, man? Uh, I saw... Let's see. Yeah, I saw a couple of other movies uh, yesterday in the morning time. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, guys, and I try and uh, I try and uh, stay to keep that schedule. This morning I slept in until 6 o'clock, which I feel really bad about. Uh, but I went to bed late last night, so I justified it by doing that. But usually I try and wake up at 4 o'clock because I wake up at 4 o'clock to go to work. 
And uh, so uh, on my days off, I'll sit until like, uh, I usually don't have breakfast until 6.30. So I'll usually try and catch up on uh, TV or catch a movie or something like that during that time. That's when I watch the Ant-Man. Have you ever seen the uh, the Tremors movies? I have. I've seen the first, I think the first three. I think there's like 12 of them though. So. <laughs> I think they're up to five right now. <laughs> but yeah, it, it has gotten a little ridiculous. I watched the... Yeah the latest one that they just came out with and I don't know what to say about those they, they've kind of come off the rails a little bit but I like the Burt character I like that survivalist guy that you know always prepared I like Reba McIntyre's character too yeah. and the first one Kevin Bacon. yeah yeah and the first one yeah I liked that the first movie I thought was excellent man I thought for what it was that they did a really good job with it they had good actors they had you know they had a cool looking monster they had a unique concept as far as horror went and I thought that they did a really good job and then they came out with these crappy sequels man and uh, it's like every horror movie has to come out with uh, you know if the first one's good and decent then they have to you know just drive it into the ground dude yeah <laughs> so, but that's Hollywood baby yeah let them chase that track all over the place they like that noise so much yeah. yeah it has a <laughs> lot of, you know I miss that in new movies is the catchphrases I don't know what it is but none of them ever do it anymore like you look at the, the brand new movies coming out, even like Avengers. Like, I can't think of one catchphrase where Captain America's busting through a door and hits some guy with the shield and says something funny like Bruce Willis used to do like in uh, The Last Boy Scout where he's like, surf's up, dude, or something like that. You know, like, <laughs> where are those catchphrases that I can like recall and, and like quote to friends and stuff? I don't, they don't, they're not in the new movies anymore. I don't know, man. I, I think you're right. I, I think maybe it's right. You think it could be writing? Oh, yeah, Jesus, I definitely... I good old bank. I definitely think it's the writers. Unfortunately, either... you know, And I, I kind of uh, you know talk about this with some of my uh, my brothers and, and family because, you know, we work in the... Uh, we had movie theaters and stuff that we used to have, and, you know, we watched, like, every movie that ever came out. It, it seemed like somewhere after the 90s, all the writers either retired or died at the exact same moment, and we were left with like the new generation of writers that didn't really have that experience to draw upon. I won't say that they're not good because they do still come out with some decent stuff sometimes, but they don't have that experience of all of those books and all of those movies that they had come up before and the tricks of the trade of what they had. And it just seemed like the quality went way down there for a, a good period of time. And I don't know. I mean, it seems like it might slowly be getting better and better. But from what I read and what I, uh, I kind of see in my uh, the movies myself, it seems like any good any of the good writers they've uh, kind of figured out that the best place to be right now is video games. Like I can't think of one video game that's come out uh, like AAA titles that hasn't been really really good with the storyline. I mean, Mass Effect Three, horrible ending, but the storyline in that series is absolutely amazing. You know? Was it really a horrible ending? You, you, oh you, you, God, I mean, yeah. I've heard don't, people's. Don't say it wasn't. Uh, well, see, I haven't played. <laughs> I haven't played those games. I really haven't. Uh, I need to play those games because if AC says it's they're great games, and I love great games, and uh, Mass Effects are just. I've never had the opportunity to. You love play them, them and basically, basically, it's because guys, I like fantasy games. I like fantasy games. I like RPGs. That's my. That's my jam. And I know Mass Effect is an RPG, but it's. Sci-fi and sci-fi, 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 sci-fi is up yeah. there for me. Yeah, yeah. sci-fi is up there. I like sci-fi. Like another uh, sci-fi game that I really want to play is Alien Isolation. I really want to play that game. Haven't heard about that one. What's that one about? It's about the alien creeping around. Uh, you know, from aliens creeping around trying to uh, to get you on that space station, dude. It was. Is that the one really made by, big, like, by Gearbox? Um, you know, I have no idea. All I know is it got really good reviews, and it had a lot of playthroughs. Oh, okay. And it looks like a it looks like a super awesome, super scary game. Then that's not the one by Gearbox. That one got horrible reviews, and uh, it was kind of broken and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I love oh, you're Gearbox. Talking about Colonial, yeah, you're talking Colonial, about Colonial Marines, Marines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard that movie. Uh, yeah, but this is just Alien Isolation. Check it out, AC. I mean, uh, from what I've seen of it, dude, it looks excellent. Chupa, have you seen anything about it? I have not. No. Alien Isolation, guys. One coming right for you. Mass, Mass Effect. Oh, it's coming. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flame lick it. No, what'd you say? Go ahead. Uh, I've got, to, I've got to agree that Mass Effect as a series is probably my favorite game series. Period. Yeah, ever. I, I really? agree with you okay. on that one. It's, well, it's fantastic. Okay, so two of my really good friends are saying it's a really great game. That's definitely something I'm gonna have to check into, guys. And you definitely want to start with the first one. Uh, I didn't know about it until the second one came out. So about the second one, and then I was like, I, I want to in, input or. Uh, bring in my character from a first series, play it all the way through, make my choices to set in the other versus 
the game choosing it for me. Right. Yeah. Uh, so going from one from two to one, I would not suggest that. You, you want to start out at, at, at one. Well, the good thing about that though is, I mean, I played the the first Mass Effect on the Xbox, and the second one I bought on the computer. And if you played on the computer, I don't know about the Xbox version, but if you played on the computer, there's websites out there that actually have the save games from people uploaded, and it tells you like all the decisions right. they made. And pretty much, you can find any version of your playthrough somewhat close. I mean, yeah, there might be a few details right. off, but you can pretty get. <clears throat> get close to your original play and just import that one in there and I don't, I don't mean as far as the decisions you make i'm talking about like the mechanics the gameplay itself right yeah but um, your, your weapon overheating this that and the other uh, having to make um adaptations to your weapons stuff like that those things weren't in the second one and so when i went to the first one and i saw these issues i was running out of ammo left and right, <laughs> right. There, there, was, there were just problems i was like it was painful yeah, but I sat there and I played it and I played it through because it was a good game with good solid mechanics, right? I wanted to mm -hmm. play the story. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to play the story. The story in Mass Effect is is amazing. It's nice. I, I love it. Yeah. And well, I've got five hundred dollars set aside so far for my for my new computer. I think and, you can uh, find. Oh, I was about to say. I thought you said for the game. I, like, I think no, you can find no. a copy cheaper than that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> five hundred bucks for the new computer. I want to save up three thousand, guys. I'm gonna spend fifteen hundred to two thousand, but I want. You know, I want that thousand dollars or whatever I have left over, you know, for safety in case, you know, emergencies. I want to have money in the bank before I go out there and buy a two thousand dollar computer, yeah, buddy, which is probably yeah. what's going to happen. So, yeah, so I mean, it's going to take me a few months, and that's okay because, uh, you know, really all I'm doing is hanging out with you guys on Sundays and, and playing P99, and that's good enough for me for right now, you know. But now uh, I've recently talked to my boss, and we, we've been getting like 60 to, to, 50 hours in a week and uh we're, but we're running out of stuff to do we start a new job in may where we'll be moving dirt and we'll be getting like 60 hours a week again but right now he's talking about um cutting us back to 42 hours a week so three 14 hour days well that's and, good yeah that will be good because i'll get to hang out with you guys more and and be able to make more videos and spend because you know guys i don't know i'm not trying to keep it a secret but this is the I love YouTube. I hope one day to do this as a career and uh, and to be with my friends, you know, most of the time and not just one day a week. So that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm shooting for, and that's why you guys, uh, you know, I'm keep putting out videos. Yeah, we definitely want to see you back a little bit more often. I think next week I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on EverQuest. I'm going to be trying to get my cleric up a little bit, up to I'm thinking about 46. That way I can start doing some raiding with that guy, and then I'm going to get this guy up. Or I may go ahead and start a... a uh, or no, no, I think I'm going to go with my shaman. I'll probably get my shaman up to this level so that we can group with Thum and stuff like that. And I can heal and still do that, that aspect. But I want the cleric there so we can start giving the 90% reses and things of that sort as well. So I understand that, brother. That's fine. I mean, I have no problem with that. Uh you know, I, I was uh, considering that I would probably, maybe in the future, have to pick up, do pick up groups with Th uh, Thune and stuff like that. No, no I I'll still always have. Uh, I'll still always have a character that we can group with. That's like that's the main thing I'm going to be focusing on. But I want to get that. Heal, you can't heal Thune with a shaman, dude. You know that. You've already tried that. We had trouble with that. You can't heal Thune with a freaking cleric. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 no, he does fine with uh, with the Miro, but with uh, I'm not we, saying I'm not saying it's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> what does that Thoom, mean? Thoom's like clanking, <laughs> clanking his weapons. Boom! The barbaric train. <laughs> I don't know. I, now. Come on, you know you do. Yeah, I mean, I think with the shaman we'll be fine because I'll be able to toss regen on you at some point. I'll also be able to toss uh, slows on the Slow target. Haste. Yeah, you know, and as long as I'm up on the the ball and we have ZK there for the extra clarity and and mezzing. You know the the shaman should be okay for for healing a group like that. I mean, well, yeah, plus we'll have we'll have Chupa and Chupa can bring. I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to bring Chupa, but he can bring. You know, with his monk and stuff, we were killing mobs a lot faster. So Thum was taking a lot. Of, Thum wasn't taking hardly any damage because they were on. Uh, it's not, uh what's his name? Soju. 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 Yeah, Soju. So uh, you know, if if we keep up with that, then why are these lions on you all the time, the last? Oh, I'm I'm pulling them because I'm trying to get some lion uh -huh. belts or pelts so we can make oh, some okay, uh, okay. you know weight reduction Wait backpacks groups. for everybody. I was tripping out, man. Oh. I was like, yeah, they don't drop them very often. Though the high quality cat pelts, uh, I think it's like one every I twenty. Think, 
are you getting them in here too? Yeah, I've gotten one so far out of like. Okay. So guys, okay. I think heard, I'm gonna. Heard South Carolina. Go ahead, Chupa. No, I'm sorry. I've I've heard South Carolina drops them um a little better, but I don't know how true that is. I don't really hunt for pelts. Right. I mean, they're here and they're they spawn every so often while I'm out here killing these things anyway. So I figured if I see one, I'll just pull it. But my pet uh, pretty much takes care of them. Eventually, they're gonna drop. Yeah, eventually you're gonna get one. So. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing else yeah. to pull because those other guys are pretty much killing all the crack spiders, other than ourselves as well. So when one pops, I grab it. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, they, they spawn over here a lot. So we got this side, and they got this that side, and that's fine. I mean, I'm, we're, you know, I hate the fact that I understand that the, the crack spiders are definitely a popular mob to kill. They drop so much silk. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, insane. The experience is real good, uh, too. The experience is real good. I mean, yeah, guys, I encourage you guys, if you're around this level, come hunt crag spiders. I mean, we'll share. They're static mobs. They pop up everywhere. So I think you know, I think there's an, uh, plenty to go around. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here because I have to go to the restroom. So, <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank my good friend Chupa for coming out and hanging out with me. I also want to thank my good friend AC Gamer for the same uh, I love you guys, man. I love all your butts. Everybody who's watching in that special way that a man loves chicken. And <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will catch you in the next one. Subscribe. Subscribe.